I usually find painting quite rewarding, and I think I've got better at it in the past couple of years. In spite of that, it's funny that I usually only manage to do one or two canvases a year. When I paint depends entirely on when inspiration strikes. I enjoyed this Wired video about portrait painting, and it got me wondering what my painting skills would extend to, so I thought I'd give a portrait a go. People aren't really my thing though, so I thought, why not try and paint a portrait of one of my old dogs? Missy Moo was the sweetest dog in the world, and was so named for her slightly bovine qualities. I found a nice photo of her I took when her fur was starting to go a bit whiter, and started convincing myself that it was a good source image for a painting. I built a canvas stretcher for the job months ago, but let other projects procrastinate me from getting on with this. It took me about 10 weeks to pluck up the courage to even draw a post-it sketch. It went okay, so I did some pencil lines on the canvas, and that went okay too. My excuses were running out, which made it time to paint, so I started with the background. Sometimes I feel like a canvas and I are two cats staring each other out across the street. I spend so much time staring at the canvas and just thinking, trying to psych myself up to make a paint stroke. After enough awkward staring, I finally started painting the actual portrait. As is always the case with painting, there were a couple of false starts with the colours, as they always seem to dry a bit differently, but sometimes you've got to do it wrong to figure out how to do it right. The image started appearing from the canvas surprisingly quickly. Part of me even wishes I stopped at this point. I went into this project believing that my weakest skill was going to be tone and lighting, and I had surprised myself with how good a job I'd done at it here. Stopping here wasn't the point in the project though, so I carried on and started working on putting some more detail into the picture. It was looking okay at this point, okay enough for me to stop painting and return to staring at it, looking for all the faults with it. This is where the process of painting gets really noodly. I spent days trying to correct and recorrect smaller and smaller things, wondering when I should stop, then working on even smaller details. I think I decided enough was enough about eight times before I finally managed to stop. I got some of this extra black paint and I've messed around with it a few times now to various degrees of disappointment. Its madness was making the eyes in my painting reflect strangely, so the last thing I did to the picture was add a bit of gloss to the eyes. I wasn't sure if this was going to look really gimmicky, but I think it solved my problem. So I finally washed up my brushes and decided the painting was done. I feel very conflicted about it. I've learned that portraits of dogs are ultimately pretty daft things but at least she isn't playing poker. I still see all the faults in it, but I guess it turned out about as well as I could have hoped. It looks like I remember her being, if nothing else. I don't think I really want to put it on my walls, so it's just going to add to the clutter of other historical paintings I've done. I learned plenty from the process though, and enjoyed the time spent, so that's okay. It made me appreciate a bit more why some artists like to use oil paint. I've never got on with them, but I appreciate the value of them staying open for longer, particularly when one is finessing such a specific range of colours. It also made me appreciate that painting portraits isn't really my bag. I don't think my painting is going to offend the spirit of my old dog though. Thanks for watching.